Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty, where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. I'm doing my August 31st update for Graveyard Project Pan, which is super exciting. And I wanted to go through, I have quite a few items that are rolling out of this, which these are two month updates. So um, I have quite a few things that I'm going to be taking out of here and a few things that I'm going to be pulling in just until the end of the project, which ends on October 31st, which is my favorite day of the year, um, other than my son's birthday, of course. <laughs> so the first item I have is a completed item, and that is my Victoria's Secret Scandalous Perfume. There's nothing left in here, as you can tell. Um, it's totally empty. Very exciting. It started up here. This is the last update, and then I plowed through. So very, very exciting. So that is one empty. Um, the next item is the Bobbi Brown Highlighter in Pink Glow. Now, my goal was only 10 uses in like what was this from April 30th to the end of October 31st or until October 31st and I've only used this two times and I will show you why which is probably not it doesn't make any sense for me to bring this in in the summer months it's very very pale this is not something that is going to be good on me in those summer months sorry for all the other swatches already but it's super super pale it actually doesn't look too bad maybe I need to start cracking this one out I could probably maybe break this one out, but at the same time, when I put it on, it looks so, like, glowy and too light for the summer almost, but, like, when you see it as an undertone, it matches my skin shade pretty well, so I may have to dive into that, um, but only two uses so far, and my, my goal was only 10 uses, so I'm struggling to grab that. I think I need to make it a point to grab that, but I was also panning another item, um, and I was hyper focusing on that. So now that that one I'm not even like using anymore, I have the opportunity to use this one. So maybe I will grab those extra eight uses and get that completed by the end of the project. The next item is the Stila Diamond Dust. And this is the liquid eyeshadow Diamond Dust. Um, well, Diamond Dust is the name. And it is called Stila. Let's see. What is the name of this? Is there a name? Oh, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. So this is beautiful. I actually have this on the inner portion of my eyes for my last use today. My goal was 10 uses. I got my 10 uses. I'm very excited. I really, really, really love this. I think it's going to be something that's really, really awesome to bring in for like, say, December. I might take that month and just do whatever the hell I want with my makeup for that month. Um, I'm thinking looks like this maybe a little bit of green in there. Um, I have a lot of exciting ideas for December, but I also want December to be a calm month for myself. So I think this might be fun to pull out again at that time because I don't want it to go bad before I get to use it up completely. And I've used up a couple of these already this year because I use those so frequently and this one kind of got left in the dust. So now I can finally grab toward it. It's so beautiful. Like it's so beautiful. Anyway, okay. That one is rolling out as well. The next one is the Makeup Forever HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder Mini. I don't think I use this once at all. Um, so we're at the same weight and it's pretty much almost full. I used it for um, a Halloween, not a Halloween look, but like I did a look for an update for Nightmare on Panning and I used this for that look. So yeah, I haven't used it since. I need to really start working on my powders though. So that definitely will be staying in and hence why it is in the project it is not getting used. The next item is my NYX lip pencil in the shade Peekaboo Neutral and I've completed this. This is as far as I can get. There is nothing left. It just popped right off. Whatever I used was like the last little bit and then it kind of just fell out and there's nothing left on the inside. So, and I can't sharpen this anymore anyway, even if there was anything in there, but this one is absolutely done and I'm very, very excited about that. So I have another one rolling out and then we have Mac Fix Plus Mini, which is also completed. There's a tiny, tiny little smidgen in there, <coughs> excuse me, but for some reason, like you can't get that out of there. Like I can't, I can't get that out. So I don't know. It, it just doesn't want to, oh, there's like a tiny little spray. Oh, we're getting a tiny little spray, you guys. 
Okay, <laughs> that's the best I'm gonna get out of there. That felt really nice. I really do love my Mac Fix Plus, but this one is now rolling out. Um, I'm gonna put that in my back to Mac at the end of the year, but of course I have to do my totals and then show you guys at the end of the year. So I have a few more empties to add to that, which is exciting. Um, and then the next item I have was my Be Perfect Contour Stick in Caramel. That smelled so disgusting that I had to toss it right then and there. I put it in the project and I was like, oh, okay, it doesn't smell that great. It's not, you know, it's kind of like it wasn't old. It was not a terribly old item, um, but it really got bad fast. And so I will never repurchase that. And it is in the garbage already. Um, so I didn't bring anything in for it because I accidentally brought two other items in for my numbers six and seven because I have seven items total. So I had a duplicate of six and seven. So I have since adjusted that. <coughs> um, and so now um, that one is just, just out. Okay, so next we have the Rare Beauty Lip Balm in the shade Thankful, which is right here. And this one is also an empty. This is as high as it can go. And if I put it all the way down, you can see that there's nothing left in there. I absolutely love this and I will be purchasing this um, once there is a, a Sephora sale or whatever. I don't need to buy anything right now. I'm trying to use through a few different um, lip balms and, and different lipsticks and stuff right now. So until I actually get those used out and a sale comes, it will sit in my wish list. <laughs> but I'll definitely be repurchasing that for sure because it was very nice. And then we have the Huda Beauty 9 Pan in Rich and Medium. And my goal is to use these each 10 times. I have only used the Rich one twice. And then this one I haven't used at all. So I'll share with you what these look like. They're very beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm just getting over my cold. I'm so sorry. And this one is the Nude Medium. And this one's stunning as well. So I need to get some use on these. I just haven't because I've been focusing on other like single pans and all that kind of stuff. I have a lot of eyeshadow in different projects. So yeah, not using them right now, unfortunately. They are very beautiful though. Okay, and then the last item before the roll-ins is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the shade, it's a duo, in the shade Zero and Demolition. So Zero is the black side, which is right here. I just sharpened these yesterday because I used them right down to like the short round nubbin before it was like hitting the hard whatever this is. I I don't think it's wood. I don't know what that is, but it is sharp against the skin. So I don't like to get it all the way down. As you can see, I'm using brown a lot more than I'm using the black. And so I need to buy myself a new brown eyeliner. Um, because once these are gone, I have one black, but I don't have any brown eyeliner. So this is a really, really nice little set. And I will be sad to see this gone, but I can buy fresh one. Um, so this one was at 5.6 grams last month and it is now at 4.68 this month. Well, sorry, not last month, two months ago. So I got a lot of usage and <coughs> I will continue to do so. Now for the roll-ins. Okay, the first item we have is my MAC Cherry Lip Pencil, and this one I'm using today. I absolutely love this. I'm using it with this one. It was in another project, so I brought it in for, um, <coughs> what is it, Collecting Cobwebs and Resurrection. So this is my Resurrection item because it was in a different project and I met the goal, but I didn't finish the item, so I'm bringing this in for that. And this one is just going to go to the end of the project because there's no way I'm going to finish it in that time. So just, just all the way to the end of the project is fine. Um, and that's the same for the remainder of these items. These will all just stay in until the end of the project. The next one is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Bellini. It's just a nude, kind of like a very, 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 very pale, pale, I want to say it's peach. But like, yeah, it's just the most lightest peach shade I've ever seen. So this one, I'm just, again, end of project. And then we have the MAC lip, lipstick, sorry, <laughs> the MAC lipstick. I don't know why I'm like bobbing on that. Um, again, a very pale peachy shade. And this is in the shade Honey Love. And I will swatch that for you real quick. It's a very, very beautiful shade. As you guys can tell, I have a theme. Like I really like my bronzy and glittery shades. So yeah. And then that one again, end of project. And then the last item I'm bringing in is the Too Faced Lip Injection in the shade 
pink punch and this one is at 17.24 grams the previous one for the honey love lipstick is in the 20 point point sorry 20.57 grams and the peach bellini is at 30.13 grams cherry lip liner is at four grams I'll remain, remind you guys that all in the next update. Um, I'm losing my train of thought and I'm trying to talk, but my words are coming out all jumbled. I'm just, I'm so tired. I just need to go to bed. But <laughs> this is a very beautiful lip gloss. I have it on right now with the MAC um, lip, the MAC lipstick in the shade Victoriana, which is a matte formula. This just gives it a little bit of more something else. The only issue I have is this lipstick makes my teeth look yellow. And um, with the lip gloss on top of it, I feel like I'm going to get lipstick on my teeth faster, but I need to use this up and I need to use up that other red lipstick. So that's what I'm going to be doing until the end of the project. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to see what you guys did for your graveyard project pan. Um, I love that Emily does this between April and October because it's not a full year. And there are some projects that go a year long so it's nice to have one that's broken up just in between the middle of the year and you guys know halloween is my favorite so keep an eye on my channel for some halloween looks to come i got some new halloween gear that i get to use really excited to apply that makeup to my face and i will see you in the next video bye